In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that was for the entire Roman world. So Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem and take a trip to the town where King David was from. But when they reached the little town, they found that every room was full and every bed was taken. All the innkeepers had told them, there's no room for you. So where would they stay? Soon, Mary's baby would come. And they couldn't find anywhere to stay, except for an old stable. So they stayed there with the cows and the horses and the donkeys. And there, in that stable, amongst those donkeys and cows. In the middle of the night, God gave the world his wonderful gift. The baby that would change the world was born, his baby son. Mary and Joseph wrapped him to keep him warm. They made a soft bed of straw and used the animal's feeding trough as his cradle. And they gazed in wonder at God's great gift, wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. And Mary and Joseph named that baby Jesus, or Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God has come to live with us. Because, of course, there he was. God was so excited that his son was here. So he decided to send the message everywhere. And how would you send your message? God sent his through a choir of angels. And where did those angels go? But to a small hill outside the village. On that hill were a bunch of silly shepherds with their sheep and sheepdog. In those days, people would laugh at these silly shepherds and call them rude names. I see, they weren't very important. But God thought everybody was important and these shepherds especially, because they were the first to hear the news. So they were out in their field, watching their sheep, when suddenly, in came the angel. The angel turned around, standing in front of them, and said, Don't be afraid of me. I've come to bring you good news of great joy. It will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, in Bethlehem, a savior is born. He is Christ the Lord. You can go and see him. He's in town, in a little old stable, wrapped in cloth. Suddenly, a whole choir of angels appeared, and they sang, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and goodwill towards all people. Disappeared. Just like that. With the angels now gone, the shepherds quickly left and ran into the streets of Bethlehem. They ran through the courtyards, they ran through the steps to go see the baby stable, uh, savior in the stable. They quietly went inside, they knelt down on the dirty floor. They had heard about this promised child, and now here he was, a little baby, sleeping by his mom and dad. This baby would be the new song, the new salvation that the uh, shepherds would hear over the whole world. 
they sang that song of salvation to the whole city as they spread the news. Here, there, and everywhere they went. Far away in the east, some wise men peered over their balcony, and they saw a star arise in the sky. They looked back at their camels, and they knew that they were in for a long ride. Someone new is here! Something new has happened! Get the camels! Pack them up with frankincense, gold, and myrrh! We've gotta go, they said. These rich, wise men journeyed off. They rode their camels through endless forests, through endless deserts, and all around. They stopped to get themselves and their camels some drinks. They went up steep mountains. They came down steep valleys. They went to see Jerusalem, because if there was a new king, that's where they'd be in the palace. And so they asked King Herod. Now, King Herod didn't like the idea of a new king. In fact, it made him rather angry. What did jinx up me? Up me. I'm always king. But Herod's advisors told the wise men, Go to Bethlehem, that's where you'll find the new king. And suddenly the star that they had seen started showing the way again. And so the wise men followed the road out of the big city, down the road to the little town. And outside, in a little house, they found Joseph and Mary and the baby. They went to them. They offered their gifts of sweet-smelling things, of gold. They bowed their gleaming heads to worship the little child. All these things that God had promised were now coming true. And they knew that this young one would be the king of all the world. The king of heaven and the king of everyone's hearts.